Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. This, oh, got cards already flung itself out. Ooh, the Two of Cups, love. So what is love going to be crossed by for you Libra? But this is a general reading. So, oh, by happiness, the Ten of Cups. Mm, intriguing. So we have love and happiness on the table already Libra. <laughs> I haven't even started. This is a general reading. So it may or may not resonate. Parts of it may resonate, parts of it may not. Just take and leave what feels right for you. If you want to skip the spiel or the shuffling, there will be a timestamp in the description box below. And other than that, let's get stuck into it, shall we? For Libra. King of Wands, Two of Wands. Five of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Empress, Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Emperor. Oh, you've got the Empress and the Emperor, and at the base, the Ace of Swords. Wow, okay, two Aces coming in. And let's have a look at and a couple of twos. We're at the very beginning of start of a journey. We're at the very start of a journey here, Libra. Amazing. Okay, final card for Libra, message from soul and spirit. What can we get for you? What can we get for Libra? Using animal spirit cards. Just waiting for the right card to pop out, Libra. Do you know what? I've been told to do that later. That's going to be a surprise. <laughs> That's going to be the mystery surprise card. So we're going to do things slightly differently today. This is the situation. The two of cups crossed by the ten of cups. Okay, so what this is is that there is a really strong connection here that's come through. This could be connecting back in with a partner. This could be... Uh, a new connection with somebody. What it is is you're kind of like jumping ahead, oh, well, eight steps, Libra. You're at the two and you want to be at the ten. You want the happily ever after with this person or this connection. Not to say it's not going to happen, but it's just you're not there yet. You're at the two. You're at the very beginning stages of a cycle here. And so the happily ever after is kind of, It's in front of you. It definitely is. I don't feel like it's blocking you. I just feel like there's kind of like an impatience to get there. But it's kind of like um, slightly illusionary because that's kind of not where you're at right this minute. But, yeah, the the Two of Cups definitely can move to that Ten of Cups energy, but it it's not there right this minute. In the recent past, we have the Five of Pentacles. So... Thank goodness the rest of the cards in the reading are really positive because this is the energy of feeling lack, feeling being left out in the cold, feeling like you don't have enough, that it's not an abundant universe, that you're being uh, looked over even, someone's that you're not being, you're being passed over for whether it's like hard work getting you're not having enough money or you're not getting jobs or any sort of thing, you're not getting even a look in, not even an interview, or you're not getting things that you want, you're applying for, it, this sense of lack is now leaving you, which is good because this is the recent past. So you're moving out of this energy, which is good, Libra, and moving into this really strong soulmate connection, really connecting with somebody here. So it seems like a really powerful connection because we you're across – You've got you've crowned by the King of Wands, and at the bottom you have the Two of Wands, which is the partnership again. So this is definitely a very positive partnership for you. There, at the base of the issue, we have the Ace of Swords. So I mean, at, not at the base, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So this, as an overarching energy, this is a whole new beginning, a whole new idea that you could be embarking upon here with somebody. 
a very strong connection. And it could definitely be a fire sign, so a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius with this King of Wands energy crowning you at at the surface of the reading, what might be feel like in, right in front of you. But it also, if it's not actually de- directly related to somebody, you've got the two wands, which is definitely you're looking at the direction that you're going in life with this person. So this is someone that you're very motivated to bring along with you. So it can also be related to business. Uh, it could be related to someone wanting you wanting them on your project. You want to be working with them. It, the ones can also be passion and desire. It's someone that you definitely want to be, again, going into the future. But the funny thing is, again, Libra, is that you know, you're looking at it as the king of wands, you know, oh, amazing, this person's really amazing, or this opportunity, this is where I want to go, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but deep down, the energy is a two. <laughs> it's not a king. So you like jumping ahead of yourself a little bit, but that's okay because it's like excitement or overexcitement, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's just you know, you're seeing all these amazing possibilities. You've got this long-term vision of where it is that you want to be going with it. And so, yeah, let your mind run wild a bit. I'm not seeing anything wrong with that. I actually seeing that it's actually really positive here because it's kind of needs that energy. So I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not being down on that. I'm just saying that's kind of where where it's it's showing that it is at this moment in time. But at the base of the issue, we have right deep down energies that could be very uh, deep down for you or soul energy or subconscious energy. We have the two of wands and you're like, definitely, I've got my one wand. The king of wands has got his wand. It's got the direction. It's got the person you want to go in that direction with. So I'm leaving that other thing behind. You've made deep down, you've made a, a big decision here to head in this positive new direction. And the world, looking at the world, like is it something that is going to be online that's going to be uh, affected? Like it's going to, you know, we're looking at the World Wide Web here. It's something that's you've got this worldwide, this big vision pretty much here. And so you're seeing things from a higher perspective. And, yes, you definitely have decided to, to take up this positive, this new idea from that Ace of Swords has just immediately led you down this this path. You've you've got this. Um, you know where it is that you're going now. So it's really positive. In the near future, we have the Page of Swords. So here comes some news. Here comes. I feel like this is, uh, yeah, just news that you've been waiting for. That. It feels like, you know, the level of it is it's it's definitely heading in the right direction because of all the other cards that we're getting and it's it could be learning and studying with this Page of Swords energy as well. It feels like um, it's not the end product, if you know what I mean. It's not the end game. It's like initial communication level. It's the beginning of something. It's not... It's you're holding that Ace of Swords in your hand and going, okay, now I'm getting, receiving helpful information here. So whether it's learning, studying, or just people gaining information, I feel like this is it's very receptive to that, Libra. So it's very important to be learning and receiving information that's going to be helping you along this path. And for you in the situation, here you are, the Empress, and no wonder you're like because you're so expansive in your th- and abundant in your thinking that's why i was saying it's good that you've got you like you're seeing it as the king you're seeing you're thinking of a bigger vision you're t- 10 steps ahead almost but that's okay it's good because you're seeing the expansiveness of this idea of this vision and you're actually like you know allowing yourself to go there because you can't do it if you can't dream. So you've got to dream big to in order to succeed big. And it just feels like, whoa, just all this abundant energy is surrounding you. So stepping into this abundance. And I know we've um, seen abundance around you, Libra, of late, and it's like you haven't quite, there's been something blocking you to getting to this. And now I feel like it's just like, bang, you are the abundance. So, yeah, it's really 
positive. It's like when you're, if you can tap into this energy and if this is you and when you're in this state, you can do anything. And especially with this brilliant idea that you've got coming going on there that's coming up for you. So you're nurturing it. You're finding all the right things. You've got a per, all the right direction, the people, the information coming to you. It's really, really positive here. Surrounding you, we have the page of wands energy. This is the energy surrounding you. So it may seem like there's small growth, but you can see it. So it may say you might not going to, it's not going to be like a huge thing straight away. Again, like it's like, this is you, the Empress, with all the amazing potential that you have and where you can see it going. And this is kind of, you know, look at all this greenery and this is kind of where it's at at the moment. Like a few little sprouts have sprouted, a few ideas that have got potential. I've got little like, um, you can see some growth happening, but the rest of it around here is desert. You're not in this abundant place yet, but it's again it's that sense of yeah I feel like you're going to get there Libra but you're just not there right now but it's the positive new beginnings the positive new beginnings and so there's this feeling of optimism for the future here with this page of page of wands it's often the world is my oyster energy I've got this amazing thing and look what I'm going to do with it so yeah it's it's yeah wonderful energy this can also be news of opportunities coming through that are going to help help you. So a few doors opening as well. Not they're not like I said they're not huge at this moment but they they are opening. So hopes and fears we have the ace of cups. So you know this is obviously a hope in your conscious mind, your higher mind. We have um you know, you're looking for this new beginning, you're looking for this rebirth, you're looking for this heart energy here that doing something that you love. And so it's a whole new cleansing and beautiful, beautiful healing energy, but it's a rebirth energy. It's a new beginning. It's beautiful. And we have as an outcome, you know, the empress is the, the dreamer, the fertile one that can attract and manifest the emperor is the one that m turns it into a concrete reality. He's like, I've got all these amazing things. Now let's make money. Now let's make, let's find some success. Now let's put it into action. Now let's be the authority of our own lives. So very strong Aries energy as well for some of you, if you've got an Aries in your life, very positive, strong Aries energy coming through. This person can help you. But in general, I feel like this is actually more you, <laughs> Libra, and it's it's a winning combo to have the emperor and the empress in your spread. This is like a power couple as well. So for some of you, there's, a, again, we're going coming back to this partnership that we had here with the two of cups at the beginning. It's almost like, you know, nothing can stop you two. It's incredibly powerful. So if you are looking to, I feel like this has got a lot to do with business and career, some kind of entrepreneurial idea or something like that. And it it's very much like if you can find this person that you connect to, that is that person that you can take it to the next level and take it to this extraordinary level, it's almost like, you know, you could do anything. So, yeah, it's quite Extraordinary. Now, if you don't have that person, you can find that you can always find those qualities within yourself as well. You can have the empress and the empress emperor within you, both of those sides. So it doesn't have to be two different people. It can be you as well. So, yeah, let's find out what this surprise card is going to be, <laughs> Libra. Let's find out. Maybe it's kind of like the universe being a bit cheeky and saying, okay, we know that you've got clear sight. We know that you've got this vision and you can see where it's going. You've got all this abundance and you're 10 steps ahead of everyone. Oh, wow. Yep. The otter and the phoenix came out. Wow. Okay. So have some fun with this, with the otter energy. 
have some fun, sit back and watch the transformation happen because this otter is watching this phoenix and the phoenix is rising from those ashes. You're finding your wings here, Libra. Oh, oh my goodness. This is just so amazing. And look how cute and innocent the otter is just smiling, going, oh, I'm transforming. I'm rising from the ashes. I'm, I'm born again kind of thing. I'm just, you know, it's transformational transformational so yeah watch enjoy listen otters are also really cute because they are really loyal little playmates they're fun so have some fun with it enjoy it most of all because this is something extraordinary happening Libra so with that phoenix energy it's so incredibly powerful transformation in your life so yeah uh, I think there's going to be a lot of joy and happiness around that. So I hope that makes sense, Libra. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.